In 2019, ESA's presence in space will continue with a second long-duration mission for Italian astronaut Luca Palmitano aboard the International Space Station ISS. During the second half of the mission, which is named Beyond, Luca will become the third ESA astronaut to serve as commander of the ISS and the first Italian to do so. He will launch on a Soyuz alongside NASA astronaut Andrew Morgan and Russian cosmonaut Alexander Svortskov from Baikonur this summer. In parallel, preparations for the Orion multipurpose crew vehicle are underway at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This will be NASA's new capsule for deep space exploration. In this project, NASA has entrusted ESA with the development of a critical element for the Orion spacecraft, its service module. The European service module will provide propulsion, power and cooling for the capsule during its first unmanned trip around the Moon in 2020. In autumn, a new science mission called KEOPS, or Characterizing Exoplanet, will be launched from Kourou on top of a Soyuz. It's the first mission dedicated to studying exoplanets with ultra-high precision photometry on bright stars already known to host such planets. KEOPS will measure the precise sizes of planets larger than Earth and smaller than Saturn in order to determine their density, further enabling studies of their internal structure, composition, formation and evolution. For telecoms, several innovative projects in partnership with industry and satellite operators will be launched. EDRSC will complete the European Data Relay System this summer. This Airbus Space Data Highway uses laser communications to transmit big data to Earth in near real time. LuxSpace's automatic identification system microsatellite will provide ship detection and maritime anti-collision services, while the first all-electric space bus NEO platform with Talus Alenia Space will supply broadband to Europe and Africa. UTELSAT Quantum will mark a first as the world's only software-defined satellite. Meanwhile, ESA continues to secure independent access to space for Europe. With the first flight of the small satellite's mission service dispenser on a Vega rocket, ESA will demonstrate the capacity to launch multiple micro-satellites together for both institutional and commercial needs. At the European spaceport in French Guiana, preparation is underway for the first launch of Vega C, a version of the Vega rocket with enhanced payload capacity. It will use a new and more powerful first stage, the P120C. This same motor will also be used as solid rocket boosters for Ariane 6, future European heavy lift launcher with a consolidated space transportation system that will allow to launch any satellite in any orbit, ESA can envisage to go further in space. This will be discussed in November during Space 19 Plus, ESA's council at ministerial level in Seville, Spain. ESA will propose to its member states a complete portfolio, science and exploration, space safety and security, applications and access to space. With Space 19 Plus, the European Space Agency has the ambition to acquire the means for a bold future, for a strong Europe in space.